Look at the hour hand on the clock. Which choice best describes the time shown? So first we're going to look at this clock. You guys can go ahead and get out your top colorful page and look at that top clock. And here are my three options. Does this clock show four o'clock? Is the hour hand between the four and the five o'clock? Or is this clock showing five o'clock? Look at the hour hand and see which option will work best. Thank you for raising your hands for me. Thank you. Which one do you think it is? He thinks it's four o'clock. Give him a thumbs up if you agree. Give him a sideways thumb if you think maybe there might be a better choice. Good, you are exactly right. It is pointing to the four, so it is four o'clock. So now, you guys can go ahead and circle four o'clock. So now let's go to the next, whoops, to the next uh, clock and look at that clock, um, our hand. Is it four o'clock? Is it between four and five o'clock? Or is it five o'clock? You were exactly right. It is between the four and the five o'clock. Okay? Good. Thank you for giving her a thumbs up. So go ahead and circle that answer. Now let's go to the last clock case. Is it four o'clock? Is it between four o'clock and five o'clock? Or is it five o'clock? Give her a thumbs up if you think would agree that it is five o'clock. It is five o'clock. It is pointing directly to the five. Okay. Very good. So, how could you describe the movement of the hour hand? First, it pointed to the four, then it pointed halfway, and then it pointed to the five. What happened? <coughs> oh, it went like Okay, very good. Did my hour hand move? Yes. It did move. Okay. Just like my hour hand in my clock moves. Okay. So the clock does, or the time doesn't stay that time forever. It moves. It's constantly moving. Okay. Now, um, yesterday we learned that if we look at our little hand or our hour hand, um, we can tell what time it is to the, excuse me, to the hour. But today we are going to learn what it's called when it is not pointing to a number, when it is between the numbers. Okay. So did you notice first grade that on this clock, the line was halfway between the two numbers? Did you notice that? We call that half halves. Cool. Good. So when the hour hand passes a number then we say it's past that time, okay? If it has not gone past the number, then it is not past that time yet. And you'll see what I mean. For instance, 
has this gone past the eight yet? No, it has not. It's between the seven and the eight, but it has not gone past the eight. So it is half past seven because has it passed the seven? Yes. Yes, it has. Can we just write seven? What do we have to finish? We have to write seven o'clock. We do have to have those that colon there too as well. Okay. Yep, that's exactly right. So that is what we are going to do today. So I want you to write out the words half past seven o'clock. Go ahead and turn your paper over and write those words. Half past seven o'clock. Now you're going to have to look at your clock face very carefully to make sure that it is not pointing to a number, but instead that it is half past. So let's take a look at this number right here, or this clock, I'm sorry, this clock. Is it pointing to a number? No, it is not. Is it halfway between the two numbers? Yes, it is. So what are we going to write? Half past. So we're going to go ahead and start writing half past. Should we spell it correctly? Yeah, it is up here for oh, the Very good. Now, am I done? No. What do I need to do? One o'clock. One o'clock. Give me a one if you think it's half past one. Give me a two if you think it's half past two. Yeah. Yeah. I think it always starts at the first, the, the lowest two. Okay. Has, remember we talked yesterday that our clock goes this way? Yeah. That our um, time is going this way? Has my hand gotten to the two yet? No, it has not. So, is it half past two o'clock? No. No, what is it first grade? Half past one o'clock. Very good. So we need to write half past one o'clock. Okay. And you can't forget.